Hello! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This is your exotic Filipina Vicky and today we're going to discuss about the things needed for the Filipinos that want to go out of the country for holiday and leisure purposes. So if you're going to the country alone, <laughs> going out of the country alone, of course you will need your round trip ticket, um, confirmed hotel accommodation for the whole stay, and then you have to check your country of entry maybe they will need a negative pcr test which most country does i guess at this time and then also i think most of the airplanes also needed that pcr test before you leave so it, at least 48 to 72 hours prior uh your departure and then you have to of course fill up forms with health clearances from the from the Philippines or also to your country of destination. How about those Filipinas or Filipinos that wants to go out of the country and they will be sponsored by your spouse, family or fiance or boyfriend? Then if you are sponsored going out of the country for holiday and leisure purposes, don't forget to remember that you should be in the name also of the confirmed hotel, hotel bookings for the whole stay. So it should not be just his name or just her name or just their name. Your name should be there also in that certain hotel. All right, for the confirmed bookings. Round trip ticket is very important also. And then you will need a letter of affidavit from the certain person that will sponsor you that they will be responsible for your needs, for, your, for everything outside, uh, outside the country. All right. Do have they have to reassure that you won't be overstaying there, that you won't find work there, that you won't seek employment. They should put that in affidavit. And the form of the affidavit can be found um, somewhere in the websites, Philippine websites, like um, affidavit of support for the Filipino. All right, you can just check it out. And then also the need to, of course the photocopy of their valid passport is very needed right and also if you're alone or you will have someone to be with you uh travel insurance is a must be able to go out or go through immigration without the travel insurance you need to pay travel insurance before you go out of the country especially how the travel insurances have this um cv travel insurance at this time okay that's all the things that you need of course, negative PCR result, mostly for the plane and the uh, country of your destination. Um, confirmed hotel booking, which your name should be in it. Return ticket, affidavit of support if you will be uh, sponsored or certain amount of money that can provide yourself if you're going alone. And that's about it. All right. Of course, you will need to check the form of your country of destination. What are the things that you need to fill up before you go there? So, because we went to Maldives, I had to fill up the form of Maldives Immigration before we land um, in their place, and then you're good to go. You're fine in Maldives, right? But uh, in, in in my case, we went to Maldives. Uh, there are accredited hotels in Maldives where you can quarantine, but it really depends, right? Uh, there are people also that went from from other countries to Maldives and just good to go without uh, booking the accredited hotels. It really depends, yeah? But it's very important before you go out, uh, go to Maldives that you need to have a negative PCR result, all right? And then next, how about going back to the Philippines? All right, so before we left Maldives, we had to take PCR test again. So it should be negative result, that's for sure. And that is being used by the plane. So you cannot fly, of course, if you are positive. So now that you're negative, you're good to go and fly out of the country of Maldives and go to the Philippines. So what are the things that the Philippines airport needed for the immigration? It's I think it's just the same in all the immigration and all the airports in the Philippines. I arrived in Cebu International Airport and they needed us to fill up the form. So if you're going to Arab Naya or Clark Airport or Cebu, you have to check out their website, yeah? You have to check out their website and they will, uh, the website have the certain form where you can fill up on that website 
or the form will generate a barcode and that barcode will be the barcode that will be using for the swab test so what will happen if you are arriving passengers um, non OFW or returning Filipinos uh, to the Philippines you need to fill up the form so that it will generate the code that will be used for your swab testing so you will have a swab test during arrival all right and so you it means to say that you need to stay in the hotel while waiting for the result of the swab test so again you have to before you even go back home you have to book an accredited hotel remember it's the accredited hotel that is listed in Maktan or in any airports listed under the airports of your destination the accredited hotel that you need to book for two days while waiting for the swap test result it should be that hotel otherwise then you have to book another hotel so once you get the hotel book um, hotels book then you get the swap test someone will pick you up from the airport and go straight away to the accredited hotel so you are gonna be in quarantine while waiting for the result if you have negative result you have to send the um, confirmation that are negative to the hotel management and then that way they can release you right and then before that before you get released you will need to have a letter of acceptance from your home or to your final destination so if you're going to your local area for me for example i'm going to alegria i had to ask a letter of acceptance from our barangay and then so that the uh, the hotel will release me so i just sent today to the email of my hotel here so i can go home tomorrow that i'm being accepted <laughs> in the place in my in my hometown and then prior to that even though i do i do have negative two consecutive negative results in just span of three days i still need to undergo 14 day quarantine in my hometown so those are the things that um, we needed yeah going and coming back in the Philippines so if you do have questions regarding with my trips or regarding to um, my trips in Maldives regarding to all this uh, requirements you can comment down below and don't forget to click the like subscribe and click that notification bell for more videos and don't forget to suggest any videos or any content for my videos that you wish to see in my channel thank you so much for watching this video this is your exotic filipino vicky signing off